For Women's History Month, this is a woman composer portrait with Catherine Michelle. Catherine Hoover, a New York composer and flutist who lived from 1937 to 2018, was born in Elkins, West Virginia, educated in New York, and held degrees from the Eastman and Manhattan schools of music. Her main flute study was with Joseph Mariano and William Kincaid. As a flutist, she gave concerto performances at Lincoln Center and performed with ballet and opera companies in New York's major halls, as well as recording solo and chamber repertoire. She taught at Juilliard, at Manhattan, and at Teachers College, Columbia University. As a composer, Catherine Hoover was the recipient of a National Endowment Composers Fellowship and many other awards, including an Academy of Arts and Letters Award in Composition. She won the National Flute Association's Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016. Her solo work, Cocopelli, has sold over 6,000 copies. It was inspired, as were a number of her other compositions, by American Indian music and culture. The clarinet concerto we'll listen to was written in 1986 and 7 for the jazz virtuoso Eddie Daniels. Eddie has an active interest in many kinds of music and performs the classical repertoire as well as being known as a master of post-bebop improvisation. In writing this piece, Hoover used material from both traditions. The concerto is structured in a familiar format of three movements with numerous elements of jazz and big band sounds, harmonies, rhythms, riffs, and some improvisation. The lively first and last movements frame a heartfelt elegy written on the death of a friend.
Clarinet Concerto by Catherine Hoover. Robert Spring was the clarinetist, with Timothy Russell conducting a chamber orchestra. It's on a Summit Records CD entitled Black Dog. 